Yesu apewe sifa. Hallelujah. Jamani leo kuna baridi. Amen. Amen. Tupige mwanzo Yesu
Before when any preaching, when pastor finishes to preach, he will ask a question. Oh, he said to people, ask me a question. About the preaching to the videos and the same thing, ask me. If he has a question, he will ask him. If he doesn't have this question, he will be able to help people so they can understand. If you just sit down, no understanding anything. Hey. Yeah. Pastor brings this verse. And he brings different things from the church. He brings different things from the church. So we will see that you have the great He said, no, here in the Bible say this. Amen. Amen. Not just to correct them. He said, this is how it is. And that's the good thing about asking questions. You just sit there and listen. You are there listening and understanding. Amen. Today we will talk about offerings. Amen. Amen. It's a really big title. It really bothers people a lot. Sadaka. Offerings. Sadaka. What is offerings? Who will give me a question? Sadaka. What is offering? Yes, it is. Sadaka ni kitu unamua kujitolea, sacrifice. You decide to sacrifice yourself. Nani mwengine? Who else? Sadaka. Sacrifice. Amen. Amen. Yeah, so I'm going to give you my card. Praise. Ni akiba. Sadaka ni akiba. Amen. Mwengine kiswa hini akiba ni um, kujiwekea like treasure ni unajiwekea like uko na save like you are saving for something haleluya amen 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 tuko na aina ngapi za sadaka how how about how many type of offering are there we want to know how many are there. Some of us are very strong. Some of us are very strong. Some of us are very strong. There are a lot of offerings. Yes, chance. Some of us are very strong. Yes, chance. Some of us are very strong. Yes, chance. Kuko ya kuko sacrifice na kuko na tithe. Tuko pamoja. Hallelujah. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tuko pamoja. Tuko na ina ngapi za sadaka? How many offerings are there? Mbili. Mbili tu. Ha? Tatu. Three. Ngapi? How many? Mbili. Two. Eh. Hey. Ye yeah, mama. Mungu akubariki mama. Yes, ige, ige niko na jibu. Wewe uko una choose, yeah? Okay, yeah, that fella. Amen. Amen. Sasa daka zetu na zoeaga ni ni aji. 
What kind of offering do we like to see? The ones we know. Mm, mama? Yes, a lot of the neighborhood are so well known as Mother Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's a time. Uh, all we have another thing called a thanksgiving yo, that offering. See people come to testify here. When you finish to thanksgiving, you give more faith. If you can't stand up here, you just give your offering. That only gives a thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Because there's another kind of offering. It's the offering of promise. I don't know if you can take that as an offering. Someone do something to you. Or maybe you put your prayer to God. You say, God, if you do this for me, I will give you this. Amen. Sadaka is an offering to promise to God. So Sadaka is an offering to Sadaka. There are different names. You can name any names you want. You can take this and say, this is my name. This is my name. You can say, this is my name. You can say, this is my name. You can say, this is my name. Or maybe the offering of widows. If you have you don't name it. All of them are offered. So all of them are being accepted by God. So I said, why is the Sadaka Zote? On all those offerings. Is there any offering that God said this thing must you have to give? Yes, Capris. There's an offering that says it must you have to give. There's an offering that says it must you have to give. Na chakumi. So yani yao mungu alisema ni must to do. So then God says he must have to give. Ni kweli? Is it true? Tuo tu nakubalia na ni kweli? Is it true? Ha? Ni mia kwa mia ni kweli. Yani kuko sadaka zinye tunashuzika hii ni must to do. There's no kweli on the same thing. He must have to offer that. Amen. Amen. Sadaka zinatusaidia anga nini sana? What offering help us to do? Sadaka. Offering. Yes, Dashas. Sadaka. Mm. 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 Who 
We really love me. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's talk to us at Daka. Kuna zingine zina kataliwa na mungu na zingine zina kubaliwa na mungu. And there's some kind of friend that are being accepted or not accepted by God. Inawezekana. It's possible. Kuko sa Daka za kubaliwa na zingine zina kubaliwa. Some have been accepted, some not. To some may be believers. Let us read our Bible. Fungo na tia kitabu cha mwanzo sura ine. The book of Genesis chapter 4. Kutanzea mstari wa taku hadi nami. We start from 3 to 8. Mwanzo sura ine kwanzea taku hadi nami. Genesis 4, 3-8 Tutasoma Nikawa hatimae kaini akaleta mazao ya ardhi sadaka kwa buwani Habili nae akaleta wazao wa kwanza wa wanyama wake na sehemu zilizo noma za wanyama Buwana haka mtakabali habili na sadaka yake Bali kaini haku mtakabali wala sadaka yake. Kaini akagadhabika sana uso wake ukakunjamana. Bwana akamwambia Kaini, "Kwa nini unagadhabu na kwa nini uso wako umekunjamana? Kama ukitenda vyema, hutapata kibali. Usipotenda vyema, dhambi iko inakuotea mlangoni." Nayo inakutamani wewe walakini yapasa uishinde. Kaini akamwambia Abili ndukuye, "Ah, um, twende uandani." Ikao walipokuwepo uandani, Kaini akamwinukia Abili ndukuye akamwua. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hii ni historia ya Kaini na Abel. This is the story of Kaini tunaijua sana sitaingia sana hapo kutafaka kuku explicate juu ya hali ya historia hii za kwanza kwa hivyo nitaongelea pale kuhusu fasi ya kumtolea Mungu I'm just speak on the part of offering to God unajua sadaka ni kitu kimoja cha maana sana maisha ya Kristo you know and offering the many good things in the last sitio sitio kiswa ni Yesu Nina kuhakikishia leo kama sadaka ni kitu ya maana sana kwa maisha ya Mkristo. Sadaka inakufungulia vitu vingi sana. Inakufungulia milango ya baraka. Inakufungulia kila kitu kenye kimefungwa. Wakati unamtolea Mungu. Na hivyo hapo tumeangalia kuna aina mbili za sadaka. Kuna uwezekano sadaka kukaitoa ikakataliwe kaenda bure. Na kuna uwezo tena unaweza kutoa sadaka ikakubaliwa na ikakuletea mafaa mengi zaidi. Ukiangalia story ya hao vijana wawili. Wote walikuwa na kazi tofauti. Ikafikia samudi ya kuja kumtolea Mungu. Gisi walisema kuna kwa sadaka hata ya kusaidia kutoa zambi. Sasa muda huo sadaka zimezi kwa ukitoa ndo unaundolewa zambi. Saka hini na abe kafika mda watole mu. Sasa sadaka sikipaliwa na mu. Unapasha umtole mu kwa moyo nyinikezu. Toa sadaka yako mwe wako uko sawa. Pastor Ruta kwa tuambia. Ikifika mda sadaka. Kama ujasinamo kia toa pesako wako. Au chochote. Ukikumbuka kama uliko sejira ni yako fasi. Eti toka inji. Nenda kwa ule jira ni yako. Muongeleshe. Tengeneza na ye. Ukimaliza. Ndiyo na kutu na toa matole yako. Haku ndo matole yako na kwa ime kubali. Na kufi toa matole yako. Kuku uro yako ina kunjama. Kwa kwa sile tiyo pesa kwa nita abure. Inaika abure. Amen. So kitu matole yako ina kwa nita komplike sana. Inafuruga hata watu siku hiza leo Watu wa wajuku wa shike wapi 
Wote wajui waamini nini. People don't know where to believe. Wote wajui wafanye nini. People don't know what to do. Kwa sababu ni kitu kinye kinana kinasumbua kina inahitaji mtu kuwa mkristo sana ndio wewe. It takes for a person to be really good Christian. Kaina alitoa matendo yake. Give it offering. Ukifuata story ya sana mzuri. Biblia nasema ni kaini ye alikuwa ni ndio robota ile ni kitu ya kuoza hosa. Bila bila naona hataki tena. Bila bila naona hahitaji. Ndio wewe nenda na robota. Robota anapitia pamoja anapelekea Mungu. And God. Dok sie kaina kwa nafasi. That's how Cain was doing. Asema ah, hii shu ilikuwa na oza. He said this garment was real. Anakamata ile shu anaziweka fasi moja. He thought that root and it put this. Hii kiazi nilipanda hii ile na oza. This potato is rooted. Hii mwindi ma manani mandege litotoa. This my um and it is not that ile hiyo kisasa. It took all those. Ndio anaenda anaenda kuelea. Mungu atulumie sana. Mimi kwa hivyo hata na sisi pia leo. Even us today. Mtapiga kazi na tumika kazi na tumika kazi. You work and work. Ikifika siku ya kwenda kanisa. When is it to go to church? Unaanza piga ah sina sadaka. Say I don't have a offering. Ah nifanye nini? What will I do? Unakia fungura wallet yako hivi. Open up your wallet. Muko 50 cents. Then the 50 cents. Ndio na kama tele 50 cents sasa. Unaweka kama utaweka mantelope. Si hata una. We not see it. Ndio nakamata sana au nenda weka. Take it and give to God. 50 cents. 50 cents. Muda wote ulifanya wiki yote mzima ulaje hata kwako. All week you not have to go to me kasa mimi. Aulaje hata kwako huko tumika wiki mzima. Bana kuingizia tatu elfu tano. They give you 3000 5000. Munafanya mashopping huko. You do shopping kwa kwenda kwa kanisa na kazi kutoka na 50 cent mwale. Ndio sasa tusa ya kusikia wengi wanatoa. So do not be embarrassed. Ndio na unatoa ile 50 cent. Mungu akurumie sana. Wewe unasema Mungu atakupatia baraka sana. How do you know that God give blessing? Wewe unasema Mungu atakunyoshaga mkono siku gani? How do you think God will give your hand? Give it to you. No. Hakuna. No. Kwa mwingine nani pastor alimwambia yeye alikuwa na ubii ni kwa pia kijana kwa unalenga matoleo kanisani. The pastor was preaching saying you bring your offering to church. Kisha kijana huwa yako kama nyuma unajua vijana wapenda kukaa nyuma bila vuru. You like to sit at the back. Kasauti kakatuka kule nyuma hivi. It was come from the back. Eh kwa 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 ni ndio tile tile sadaka juu pato za mtakula. He did not think to give us offering to have something to eat. Mungu atuhurumie. Make God for me. Nani katikati yetu? Who is among us? Ana ana believe kama wa pastor wanakula sadaka. See that pastor take the money of the offering. Tuseme kweli. Let us speak the truth. Tuseme kweli. Let us speak the truth. Nani huwa na minyaka wa pastor wanakula sadaka? Who believe the pastor took the money from the offering? Bana kulaka? Moja kumi. Moja kumi ya? So moja ya kumi wanastahili kukula. Ha? Mm. Eh? Yes. So mseme ndio na sauti ya nguvu. Bwana mimi pasta mimi na sita. Ndio. So moja ya kumi wa pasta wanapasha wa kumi. They have to take the offering. Yaani bakikula sio kusayao. And they take that money is not a problem. Hawa yatibia mzuri. Swali ni kuwa wanani huyu wanaaminia wa pasta wanakula kasaja. Who means that the pastor take the money from the offering? Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so, yani you think watumishi wa Mungu. Sema kwa Mungu. Mkiona mkiona cha 10 na kila kidogo. Is it a Mujue kama watu wanaiyo kama mnazikunaka You have to know that people think that you have to take them Sasa abapendaki mzikule Many people don't want you to take them Kwa mwana abanasibakiza mifuko yabo Abapendi wazitowe Amen Sasa nandua kwa kuko shidi So that's the problem Tusha yuwa chakumi ndo sadaka watungaji wanakumi You know the text is the text The money of Na Biblia inasema hivi. The Bible says 
unaweza kukosa kuja na sadaka nyingine yote ile lakini usikose kuja na fungo ya kumi Mungu akusaidie Unaweza kosa pia na 50 cents Unaweza kosa kuja na sadaka yote ile yote yote lakini usikose kuja na fungo yako ya kumi Mungu akurumie So kuna wana sheme kuna kia toa na nikifungua kia kumi Rungu kui kuna tukana pasta Hile tumbu hile sene kuna kulisha Una nenepa vile pasta sine kuna kulisha Hile kia tu kuna pendeza sine kuna kuna kulisha Hile kuna kia matoa ne kuna kuchami
au namba hizi za bank tia tu pale sio kosa yetu unatia tu pale kama unisaulika kutoa cash uko nazo mkadi unatuma tu hakuna mwenye atajua ni wenda Mungu wake Amen. For us to miss the way to sin. If you don't give your offering, you are doing sin. The Bible says in other words, we are thick. You hear that word. We are thick. Sawa imagine ni kazi unatumika na nguvu zako unakula zile pesa zako lakini Mungu ambaye anapita tuko wezi na hakuna waamuzi wataingia mbinguni hakuna so kama uko hapo so if you are here unatumikaka kwa Angry Jacks you are working in Angry Jacks unatumikaka mwile kazi kafana semaka ili ya kunyangula na machuma a job of metals eh huko kote unatumikaka you are working there kama unatumika disability you are working in disability kila mshahara unayopata what kind of salary you get unabidi kwa natoa chana ni ya 10 pembeni you have to give your tithe hiyo sio ya kwako that's not yours sio ya kwako na hiyo sio ya watumishi wa Mungu ni ya Mungu peke yake tuangalie kwenye alisema fungua kitabu cha Malaki sura 3 mstari wa 7 Matthew 6 Malak Malak Malakae sura 3 tutaanzia 7 tuanzie 7 hadi 10 Jua nini tunatoa sadaka zetu? Why we give our offering? Amen. Amen. Ni ya mwisho. Malaki sura 3. Malaki 3:10. Tunaanzia 7. Ni ile ile verse tu pale ya 10 tutaanzia 7. Apo. Amen. Amen. Tunasoma, tokea siku za baba zenu mmegeuka upande, mkayaacha maagizo yangu, wala hamkuyashika. Nirudieni mimi, nami nitawarudia nini? Asema Bwana wa majeshi. Lakini nini mwasema turudi kwa namna gani? Je, Mwanadamu atamwibia Mungu. Lakini ninyi mnaniibia mimi. Lakini ninyi mwasema tumekuibia kwa namna gani? Mmenibia zaka na dhabibu. Ninyi mmelaaniwa kwa laana maana mnaiba mimi mnaniibia mimi. Naam, taifa hii lote Leteni zaka kamili galani ili kiwemo chakula katika nyumba ya Mungu. Mkanijaribu kwa njia hiyo, asema Bwana wa majeshi, mjue kama sitawafungulia madirisha ya mbinguni na kuwagawieni baraka hata isiwepo nafasi ya kutosha au la. Haleluya. Etoka muda wa manadi wa baba zetu the time of our fathers. Bibi ya sinetu kwa watu wa kunibia Mungu. We were robbing from God. Tunakuwa wa mwizi. We were robbers. Joni tunakuwa wa mwizi. We were thieves. Tuko watu wenye tunabisha sana, tunajifanya, tunajua. We think that we know everything. Maneno ya kutisha wa Mungu kwa nawafundisha na mwashiki, mnajifanya, mnajua kila kitu. You think you know everything. Bibi anasema Bwana anasema eti tunamwibia. God said we are robbing from him. Sasa na sisi tunajiuliza tunakuibia haya wakati mimi ndio naendea tumika kila siku ninakuibia haya. Now we are robbing from him. We go to work every single day. Sasa mimi mnanibia kwa zaka zangu. You are robbing me from your offerings. Matoleo yenu. Your offerings. Kaini matoleo yake ikukubaliwa jua kwa na leta leta vitu vya mbaya tu. Offering was not accepted to be big bad things. Sasa na wewe matoleo yako itashindwa kukubalia juu ya nini? Cha kwanza uko na moyo mgumu wa kutoa. Uko na toa sadaka uko nasema ah isambe la 
here to pray. Kule niko kukazi kwa I am there to work and I'm to pray. You are here to pray for us. So, why cannot buy it Jua nini nisukulisho mwenye uko na niombea? Leo sauti nikataka kutoka sasa na hata niombea. Mungu atusaidie sana. Zamani nani mapasta kula sadaka ya kuya gaji. Before how Hapo zamani before uh, banani banani wakawa na makuhani wakuwa na kuhani sisi wakuwa na kuhani wakuwa na kuhani waita kazi yao likuwa ni kanisani wanakali kanisani ndio kazi mwa ni wapa hakuna ingini hawa papa mnaona pa mene ndio kazi mwa ni wapa kubiri neno la mwa hii yao wakuenda kukazi Ewa, 
Maybe he just go for nothing. You just came to fix. Eh, you don't give me shit. Can I always go for a kick? Go for a kick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, I'm going to get that coffee. I'm going to go. See you on a tumbo. See you. No one at all at all. Like you're lying. How are you offering? What do you mean? Just stay with it. Hey, my papa, we're not going to go. Yeah. Okay. 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 Mungu akurumie sana. Na akusaidie pia. Ningeomba watumishi mtevi kapa. Kuna vitu vingine watumishi Mungu atawaulize. And one thing God will ask you. mtu. Mm. Bring that for and not be Sema. Mwata chukia fikie.